So let's continue with this lecture outline by talking about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that we use quite a bit in chemistry because we have some very small numbers, such as the wavelengths of light and the sizes of atoms, and very large numbers, which are oftentimes the number of atoms, and for example, uh, the number of atoms in a mole that we'll be talking about, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, a very large number. And the example I have here on this page is that in a 500 milliliter water bottle, there are approximately 1.672 with all these zeros, water molecules. And we're going to talk about the difference between scientific notation and decimal notation, which is just normal numbers. Um, and uh, note number two is going to say that you're always good using scientific notation. You are always good using scientific notation. And many times decimal notation is just fine, but scientific notation is always good. Scientific notation will automatically take care of things like significant figures that we'll be talking about coming up. But anyway, it's up to you how you want to write it. Then we'll talk about the various reasons to use it and not use it coming up. Now, um, the form of standard, uh, not standard exponential notation, should be scientific notation, although it does have an exponent in it. Scientific notation is going to be, uh, you're going to have a number and then a times 10 to the, and that'll be your exponent. And as my example, I'm going to take a minute here and I'm going to turn this number into scientific notation. And this is a skill that you'll get much practice with in this course. It's going to be, uh, well, since there's no decimal point, the decimal point must be at the very end here. And I'm going to count off three, six, nine. So that's nine so far, zeros. And then three plus three plus three plus three plus three, oop, three plus, and I'm almost there. I need one more. So if I add all these up, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight threes, which is 24, plus one is 25. If I were to write this in scientific notation, I would have 1.672 times 10 to the 25th, and those are water molecules. And um, scientific notation, so each number in scientific notation is going to have a, a decimal part. which is the 1.672, and an exponential part, which is the times 10 to the 25th, and the water molecules part is just the units. And as far as the decimal part goes, you'll always want the decimal part to be a number between zero, uh, or to, the number will range from one to nine, So uh, those are the acceptable numbers, 9.99, etc. We will not express scientific notation as 0 point something and then with an exponent. And um, so it cannot be greater than 10. Otherwise, we'd change the exponent and it cannot be smaller than one.
at least not to be in proper scientific notation. Now, as far as the exponential part goes, so the exponential part uh, must be a whole number. And uh, the exponential part can be positive or negative. And it'll be positive for very large numbers or large numbers, and it'll be negative for small numbers. Now, uh, here's some instructions on how to use scientific notation. So changing from a decimal number to standard exponential notation, and uh, that's sort of what we just did here with this number. Let's do it again. It says, uh, so move the decimal point left to right to get the coefficient ranging from 1 to 9. So again, here's our decimal point. We can see our decimal point in various places in the examples coming up. And uh, we're going to be, so let's see, we're going to be doing number uh, four. If the decimal point is moved right x places, the, x, oh, the decimal point is being moved left x places. So it's going to be moved three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. It's going to be moved 25 places. And that's going to give us, so 1.672, write the times 10 to the, and then we moved it to the left, it'll be positive. This is 1.672 times 10 to the 25th as a number. In the next example, we're going to be moving it to the right. We can see our decimal point, and one of the things I always do with numbers is I always have a zero in front of it so that uh, I know this sort of gives me my bearings. I don't usually just write uh, 0. 0.0 something. As long as I can understand what you're saying, I'm fine either way though. All right, so move the decimal uh, now to the right. Again, I'm gonna use groups of three, three, six, nine, to get it 3.33. And it's going to be times 10 to the 9th. However, we're moving it to the right so the exponential will be negative, like so. And now I'm going to come back and do this key point right here. The key point is, so large numbers have positive exponents. Small numbers, or very small numbers, have negative exponents. And that's really what I remember. I mean, this is a good sort of formal process for doing this, but in the end, it's always good to check your work, and that'll be something we'll talk about quite a bit in this course. And so positive exponent must result from a big number. Negative exponent must uh, have been a small number. And we've got sort of an in-between number here. I mean, I guess it's bigger than one, so it is considered a large number. And in this time, uh, we're going to move the decimal place three places. And now we get four point zero 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 six seven eight I moved it three places so times 10 to the third I moved it to the left that's also because this is a big number and my exponent is positive so those are some examples of converting uh, decimal to scientific notation uh, now It keeps creep, creeping in. I apologize for that. Changing from standard scientific notation to a decimal number. We've got, um, so if the exponential is negative, is a negative x, move the decimal to the left. 
and let's this so this one is negative in our examples and so I'm going to write this over again so I get that one out of the way and this is the first time I'm going to use another color so it's five places this is a small number so I'm going to move it to the left to get my decimal point over here one two three four five and then I fill in zeros in each of those little cups and then I put a zero on the edge too so final answer 0 0.0000602245 and again so for me this left right stuff I I think in terms of big numbers and small numbers, maybe that's just how I think. However you do it is fine, just keep that in mind. But you do need a system for doing this because we do this a lot in this course and in continuing chemistry courses as well. Uh, same key point as last time. So large numbers, large numbers equals positive exponents. Small numbers equals negative exponents. So negative exponent for this negative 5, we end up with a small number. Here, again, these numbers are throwing me off a little bit, so I'm going to rewrite this. 1.78978. And let me just take a moment. So much of chemistry is keeping yourself organized help yourself to do to stay organized by rewriting things if you need to 10 to the seventh do things in different colors to help you so uh, it's a big number so i'm going to move the to the decimal point to the right one two three four five six seven a little bit of overlap there but I can see it and you can put in your commas there every three if it helps to uh, if it helps you understand it and keep it straight so that's going to decimal numbers now how to do scientific notation on a calculator another huge topic I've got my calculator right here your calculator uh, may be the same it may be different if I wanted to enter in, so uh, what do we just have on that last page? One point, let's just say 1.79 times 10 to the seventh. And I want to enter that into my calculator. I'm going to press 1.79 and then my button has an exponential button here. And when I press it, up comes the exponential, the times 10 to the though the times 10 to the part doesn't show up on my calculator. And then I'm going to put 7. So I would press so 1.79 and then I'm going to push the XP and then I'm going to push 7 then I get my exponential number and if I was to do uh, 4.3 times 10 to the minus 6 I would press in, well let's do it first 4.3 and then exponent and then it actually doesn't matter on my calculator you can push the plus minus here don't push the minus, push the plus minus plus minus 6 so that would be, oops 4.3 exp plus minus 6. And for my calculator, I have a way of, well, let's see, when I hit equal sign, I get, I get decimal numbers now. And on my calculator, and everybody's calculator is different for this, if I hit the mode button and 9, 
it converts from decimal to scientific notation. And if you have any questions about how to do it on your calculator, please come to office hours or send me a picture of the face of your calculator and we will figure it out. So, uh, so mode nine switches from uh, decimal to scientific notation and back. At least on my calculator. So, but you need you, it's going to be helpful for you to be able to do that. So, the next thing to do is you're going to actually do number two and you're going to write your instructions, and it will be something that I'll look at. Take your time to do it now, then continue the video. As far as practice problems, convert to regular numbers or decimal notation uh, or scientific notation, depending upon what you've got. So um, now that we have our calculator, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put in 4.17. I'm going to do times 10 to the is exponent. Remember, there's my exponent button. And then I'm going to hit 3 minus. Actually, I think I usually hit the 3 and then the minus, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to, oh, equal, and it didn't do anything. So I'm going to do shift. And now it tells me that this is 0 0.00417. And here, uh, let's do this one. Uh, I don't know. And you're always going to have a calculator for this course. Uh, let's see, 6.93, exponent 4, and then equals. And it gives me 69300. And if I want to back in scientific notation, there you go. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, maybe I need to work on my calculator skills. Something didn't work there. All right, now let's do it the old fashioned way here. Let's move our decimal point here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a small number, so minus seven. This is a big number, well, bigger than one. Our decimal point is right here. Move it two places. And our exponent has to be positive. Uh, let's see, if I put in 3.22 and it equals and then hmm, no scientific notation anymore. All right, well, let's stop there and we'll do another video next.